Hey Scorpios! Hello, hello, hello. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot and I am back to bring you guys another general message. Peace, love, and light to you guys. I want to say thank you. I am so happy guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have my 1k subscribers. Thank you all so much. I love you guys so, so much. Without you, this would not be possible. I want to send a big shout out to all of my Scorpio stingers. I love you guys so, so much. Peace, love, and light to you guys, okay? This is a big win for all of us, okay? So I have some surprises in store for you guys by the end of the month, but I'm going to keep you guys updated. Possibly I may do some raffle tickets, some uh, cash app uh, giveaways, so stay tuned. So I'm working on that for you, okay? All right, guys. So as you see, I already have the cards laid out. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I've already meditated over this energy, kind of see what's going on here. Cross watchers, if you're watching for a Scorpio, please take only what resonates and leave what doesn't. He can be a she, she can be a he, okay? All right, guys. So let's get into this. Let's clear the energy a little bit more, guys. I want to make sure we got the right energy. Hope you guys are enjoying your Valentine's Day. For some of you, you know, not everyone celebrates Valentine's Day. Basically, you know, since I've been on my spiritual journey, I'm not really celebrating a lot of um, holidays like that. Well, really, today is not a holiday. You know, to me, today is like another day for me. But you're supposed to love each other no matter what. You know, love each other throughout the good and bad, not just only for today, but every day. So if someone is, you know, doing their thing today... They got to keep in mind that they're going to be creating a Scorpio. <laughs> so anyone that is uh, in the works of or thinking about creating another human being, just keep in mind they're going to create another one of us, right? Right. <laughs> so this is how Scorpio's babies are born around this time of the year. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Let's get started, guys. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please clear out any energy that does not belong here. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages for my fellow Scorpios. So we're going to leave that here. Let the Palo Santo bring us this great and beautiful energy on this day that is showing of love, okay? All right, so let's get started. We have judgment, okay? We have courage. All right, we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the Four of Wands, <clears throat> Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that someone is wanting a second chance. Someone is wanting to talk to you, communicate with you with the Page of Wands. You may receive a phone call, a text message, a DM, kind of similar to my other reading. But there's someone that's wanting to reach out to you. Um, this might be some good news, okay? Maybe some of you guys, for others of you, you may be making a judgment call on your life. And that's why good things are coming towards you. A lot of you guys are very courageous, very energetic. You have that youthful, young energy. Some of you guys can be salespeople, actors, preachers, anyone that's like a speaker, someone that likes to talk to others. You're very enthusiastic. You have a lot of optimism about your life. So you're making a judgment call over your life to maybe speak up for yourself or be an inspirational speaker, okay? So we have courage. And then we also have the Four of Wands, okay? So what I'm getting here is that, honestly, to tell you the truth, guys, the energy that I'm getting is that there's someone that's trying, that's going to gain the inner courage, that's going to gain the courage and the strength, face their fears to possibly reunite with you, come home, probably move in together. Someone is wanting to celebrate with you. Some type of prosperity, a celebration is going on here, Okay. But overall, I'm kind of getting someone that's wanting a second chance. They wanted to talk to you, wanted to have the strength and courage and have that confidence to come back home, reunite with you. This person feels like you're their twin flame. You may be seeing 1111 a lot. Someone may want to pop up, surprise you. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's get some more clarity on this, guys. Actually, I am going to use this deck. Also, another energy that I'm getting for some of you guys, um, you may receive some good news, a phone call or email or text or something, and this may cause you guys to get into some type of celebration mode. There may be a party coming up, a wedding, some type of event. Someone could be coming home, like I said. Someone is feeling welcome back home. The community, 
um, maybe celebrating with you or like I said, some type of surprise here. Okay. This can be a family reunion where family are coming together as well. Wow. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about this energy. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages for the star sign of Scorpio. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. No, I'm not going to take those. Any evil eyes, witchcraft, voodoo, or bad energy that's coming across my channel, I ask that you return it back to sender and bind it to them a thousandfold in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, spirit. What is the energy? <clears throat> All right, so we have, wow, more fire signs. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, tell me more. Magician. Gemini energy, tell me more. Hmm. Someone could also be facing judgment, could be going through karma. Page of Wands. Wow, we got the Page of Wands here twice. Let me get one more, Holy Spirit. Hmm, this is coming off kind of negative here. This one just flipped out. Page of Swords in the reverse. Wow, a lot of reversals. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, guys. So, this is kind of some negative energy here. Someone realizes that they lost an opportunity. You guys are not on speaking terms right now. Hmm. This is someone who broke your heart. You guys are not on speaking terms. You may feel like this person played too many games with you. They were a trickster, fraud, told you what you want to hear. You getting that this person is kind of arrogant, low vibrational, immature, temper. Mm. This person lost their opportunity with you because they were very codependent. This person could have cheated on you with a third party. Someone who tried to imitate you. Nine of Cups, Page of Cups in the reverse. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is someone you're not dealing with here. This person gave you very unsatisfactory energy here. You lost interest in this person. You feel like they don't care. They didn't care about your feelings, your emotions. They were unconcerned about you. This person broke your heart. You lost interest. You wasn't happy. Wow, the Tower here and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. This so a tower moment happened between you and this person, and I feel like someone here is getting judged by the most high. You could have made a final judgment towards this person. Mm. This person didn't take action towards you, they were a fool. Yeah, the fool in reverse, Aries energy. This person played themselves, they look like a clown now. They try to replace you with someone else, and it didn't work. So now they're being judged, and I feel like now this person is not wanting to talk to you, reach out to you here. But they treated you wrong here, Scorpio. Mm. Someone was being being an asshole is what I'm getting here. Playing games, treated you wrong. Mm. Someone here is definitely being judged because of their actions. Someone could be dipping into some type of black magic, witchcraft, some type of love spell, sex spell here with the magician in reverse. Yeah, someone is definitely being judged by the most high for being an asshole to you. Now they're trying to build that, that courage to come and see you or talk to you, but they know that they've done you wrong. You guys are not in communication right now. Mm. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Actually, let me push these over here. Wow, this is not cool. Tell me more. Tell me more for Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio. And of course, guys, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The signs that I'm seeing is Aries, Leo, Sag is heavy here. Possibly a Gemini. Tell me more for Scorpio. What's going on here, Spirit? The moon. Ooh. Someone could be hiding how they truly feel or someone is hiding something from you. Keep in mind, whatever is in the dark does come to the light. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is hiding the fact that they really do miss you. They feel left out in the cold. They realize they missed an opportunity with you. 
Yeah, three of wands. They're possibly waiting for a phone call from you or waiting for a sign from you. Yeah, this person missed their chance. I feel like also you guys are choosing to love yourself as well. Yeah. They're wanting to communicate with you. Express some type of enthusiasm, faithfulness towards you. Again, they're trying to be courageous to reach out to you. Knowing that they missed an opportunity. Knowing that they show you in the past that they were a trickster, they were a fraud, immature, you know, giving off attitude when they don't get their way. Mm. That King of Wands energy is kind of giving me evil vibes. Someone who's disrespectful. Mm. Wow. This person is missing you. They feel abandoned by you, left out in the cold. They could be struggling financially. They could be hiding that from you when they reach out to you. Wow. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this situation for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right. Wow. So we got the Hermits that came out crossing Virgo energy. Tell me more. So this person is kind of in between of trying to heal. It's kind of like this person is, is soul searching, but then at the same time, they're withdrawing their energy from you. It's like they want to come home, but then at the same time, they're withdrawing their energy, isolating themselves, feeling down and out. I'm, for some reason, I just heard a shame. Someone is ashamed of their circumstances. Three of Wands and a Four of Cups. Wow. Yeah. Someone is waiting for the opportunity to come towards you. Yeah. They know that they lost their chance. The High Frontier, King of Swords. If this person comes back around, Scorpio, this person needs to speak some type of truth to you. Otherwise, Six of Swords, you're moving on because they already proved to you that they're very unfaithful, biased, hypocrite type of energy. They didn't show you that they were committed to you when you guys possibly were married. Maybe you guys were married to this person or living with this person, but they showed you already they wasn't committed to you. And right now, you want the truth and nothing but the truth. You're standing up for yourself. Yeah. Or otherwise, you're moving on and you're healing. Yeah. Because this person I'm getting is moving way too slow to bring you what you deserve. Yeah. You don't feel like you guys can move forward. This person could have lied to you. You want peace. You're not stressing about this person anymore. Yeah, you guys broken up. The lovers is here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. It's kind of like you may be on the fence, guys, or this person could be on the fence of trying to come back home, but at the same time, they're waiting for the right opportunity. They're missing you. They want to talk. They're isolating themselves because they're ashamed of their circumstances. Someone could be out of work. Maybe having health problems. And I did see the health card here. With envy at the bottom of this deck and health. Someone could be going through some health problems right now. This person could be jealous of you. Or they're envious because maybe, you know, they lost a chance. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Scorpios. This is what I have for you. I'm going to end it right there. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. I thank you guys so, so much for all of you've done for me. I love you guys to the moon and back. Of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So the signs I see here, I do see Cancer. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag is heavy. I see Gemini here and Virgo. Okay. All right, babes. I love you guys. Of course, I'll be back with more readings for you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.